spring arrives in the countryside, warming the waters of streams and ponds. At first glance, you might not see any signs of life. Suddenly, you notice a dragonfly sunning itself on a rock. The first part of its life was spent on the bottom of this stream. In the water, fish swim in lazy circles. That's no fish. That's an insect. An insect newly hatched from an egg, a larva. But which larva is it? Not a dragonfly. This is the larva of an insect that one day will glow, a firefly. Young fireflies are born underwater and spend the first part of their life there. Soon after being hatched, the firefly larva crawls out of the water onto the soft muddy banks of the stream. He's getting ready to begin the next stage of his life. When he finds a spot to his liking, he begins digging a hole for himself and starts crawling into it. What's he doing under there? Let's dig into the dirt a bit and see. What looks like a pebble is actually a young firefly that has changed into a pupa, the next stage of his life. He's all curled up in a sort of shell and sound asleep. Here's another one. Five pupas. Five young fireflies that had tunneled into the ground just a few inches apart from each other. Let's see if we can gently lift away some of the dirt covering the young firefly and discover what's going on inside. There it is, the pupa. The baby firefly slowly changing into an adult. We'll cover him again and let him sleep. But he's such a sound sleeper, we'll look in on him again in a moment without waking him up. Inside his shell, the firefly's body is changing. He no longer looks like a caterpillar. This process is called metamorphosis. His eyes are developing and his legs curled up beneath his head. Look at his tail. It's starting to glow, and it's moving. The firefly is waking up. Just weeks after crawling into the dirt, the young firefly begins crawling out of its old skin. He is now a fully grown adult. He has wings now, thin wings under wing sheaths that are pale at first, but soon turn dark. He'll rest for a while, then begin climbing out of his hole. The very second he's out, he spreads his wings and flies away. No one had to teach him how to fly. He knew it right from the start. From the stream, to the dirt, to the open field, something called instinct told him it was time to move on. This insect now has all the parts that show him to be a beetle. Antenna or feelers, strong wing sheaths covering thin wings underneath, a colorful body made up of three parts, and six legs. But in addition, the firefly has something that other insects don't have. At the end of its body, a light that glows in the dark.
Air tubes run through the firefly's tail. When air touches a special liquid in the tail, the tail gives off light. Both the male firefly and the larger female have that light. It helps them find each other. The firefly is one of the few insects that uses its eyes to find a mate. The light glows when the firefly's nerves control the flow of air into the tail. The firefly, like other beetles, likes to crawl to a high point and take off from there. On a warm summer night, hundreds of them take to the air like tiny flying lanterns. What do they live on? The adult firefly eats nothing, nothing at all. He lives by drinking raindrops and dewdrops that appear at night on blades of grass. One summer day, instinct tells mother fireflies to find a safe place to lay their eggs. Adults live out of the water, but they were hatched from eggs laid in the water by their mother. And before the night is over, this new mother will do as her mother and her mother's mother did. She lays tiny eggs, whole clusters of them, on plants whose stems lie beneath the surface of the stream. The eggs look large here, but they're no bigger than the head of a pin. Like grapes ripening on a vine, firefly eggs develop over the weeks to a point where they're getting ready to hatch. Sometimes even the eggs of a firefly give off light. Before long, the first egg hatches. Out comes the first larva. He's dark in color. Now his brothers and sisters come out too.
At first, they eat bits of food they find at the bottom of the stream. Then one day, the larvae will know the right day, they'll crawl out of the water, then tunnel in the dirt as their parents did, and begin the cycle all over.